first, let's welcome Brunswick County Sheriff John Ingram. Sheriff Ingram, thank you so much for joining us today. What a pleasure to have you. And I know that over these past couple of months, it's been really hard on you and your team. So I am so thankful that you took time out of your day to be with us. Yes, ma'am, thank you for having me. Well, you are quite welcome. Um, I really want to talk to you today about your professional and your personal experience that you've had during um, Hurricane Florence. So I know you're glad the hurricane season's about over. I'm very thankful. <laughs> very thankful. Well, if you wouldn't mind, I would really like to start with your personal story. I understand that you had some real excitement um, that landed you at Novant Health right before the storm. Yes, ma'am. Uh, a couple of years ago, I had kidney stones, and I went to Novant. Um, Dr. Lavachetta is my urologist, and she had helped me out. She was fantastic. And I started having a pain in an area that I felt oh. like it was kidney stones. So I contacted her, and she had told me to come by the hospital. They were there. They had went into right. storm mode like everyone else in right. the county. And so I went in, and uh, Dr. Hannah was in the ER, and he was taking care of me until Dr. Lavachetta could come down. They did a CT scan and uh, Dr. Lavachetta came in and she said, good news, bad news, you don't have <laughs> kidney stones, but I think you might have appendicitis. And uh, She's so funny. I she love is. her. She's great. And my wife was with me and we enjoy talking with her. She's, she's fantastic. She and is. So then uh, she said, uh, I'm not the expert, you know, I need to get uh, the surgeon down, right. Dr. Beninati. He came down. He was great. First time I'd ever met him. And he told me, you know, the, a couple of options. Um, that really were not working for me because I needed to get back out. Uh, I could not stay in there. So I, he said, um, you, you know, we can we can uh, go ahead and get you in there. He said, uh, we don't have anything else going on. All of us are here. And uh, so um, we decided to move forward to surgery. Oh my goodness. And uh, he said that he could have me out, you know, shortly after the surgery. Uh, Really? He said he, said he could uh, guarantee me that I wouldn't bleed internally, but <laughs> couldn't guarantee that I wouldn't bleed externally. I said, that works for me. <laughs> so, and then I asked him, uh, you know, just his sense of humor. Um, I asked him, I said, no, look, I said, I don't know you. I said, you, you're pretty good with these kind of surgeries. He said, uh, yeah, he said, I, I, I looked it up on uh, YouTube last night. I feel pretty good about it. I said, you're my guy. Uh, <laughs> He's so, so funny. He is. And so they took me back and uh, the anesthesiologist and the folks assisting him, they were fantastic and that was the last thing I remember until they were waking <laughs> me up. Well, that's good. But uh, I can't say enough about the care and treatment and I don't think it had anything to do with me being the sheriff or mm -hmm. you know my, my personal situation that I needed to get back out. I think it's the commitment that Novant um, Health and all of the folks there, are, you know, the commitment they have to the public and taking mm -hmm. care of the people that come in uh, for whatever reason, and it doesn't matter who you are or, or where you're from, it's just a great group of people. And I feel very comfortable going there for anything. And right. uh, especially now, I mean, he was he was able to get me on my feet. Everybody asked me, well, you know, how did you do that I still that so can't quickly? believe you went right back to work. How long it's, were you out of commission? I think from the time they took me back until the time I was at the office was a little under three hours. You've got to be kidding. And my, you know, they, my wife was um, there with me. She drove me. Was she having a conniption fit? <laughs> she, she was doing, she, she held up well. She was my rock during all of that. But got me back to the I'm office. I'm sure she wanted to put you in a car and take you right home, but. <laughs> she, she knew the situation though. And it, you know, I, uh, during a situation like that, when right. the county needs me, I'm not going to be out of commission if I can help it at all, um, because that's my job. I'm, right. I'm there to take care of the county, and I, I, I didn't want people to know I was there. We kept it quiet. Oh, I, I know. It was very quiet. I didn't want people to to think that I was going to be out of work or, or not involved in, in mm -hmm. dealing with this storm and the aftermath at all. And uh, fortunately, I, I, was, I was blessed with being able to number one, have a reason that kind of made me go there in the mm -hmm. first place, even though it wasn't really what I was thinking, <laughs> because it could have been really bad. Um, you know, if I would continued on, he said it could have ruptured, and then yeah. I may not have been able to get to the hospital, right. given the circumstances of the storm, yeah. even with the resources that I would have had. Have. <laughs> so uh, I'm very thankful that uh, and blessed that 
I got to that point when I did, and to have a team in place that, uh, like at Novant with Dr. Beninati and all of the group, uh, yeah. the whole the whole group there. I mean, they were fantastic. And again, I don't think I can't stress it enough. I don't think it has anything to do with me being the sheriff or who I am. I think it's just their their commitment and their passion for taking care of this community. And I'm thankful we have them in place. Well, I want to talk a little bit about your team and the amazing work that they did taking care of the folks in Brunswick County during that hurricane. Um, tell me a little bit about what all that entailed. What all did you have to do during that? that? Well, naturally, we plan for things like this right. year round, but during this storm, it was unlike anything I've ever seen. It was, it has has to be the um, the most significant storm to hit this county mm -hmm. since since um, I've been alive mm -hmm. and. It, uh, you know, it cut our county up into three loca uh, four locations at one time. It was almost like four islands. We, um, but fortunately, we had planned uh, enough in advance to have resources in those areas to be able to address whatever needs or concerns were going on. During the course of that storm, we had um, six different uh, either vehicles or businesses or homes broken into by people oh, wow. trying to take advantage yeah. of the situation. And our deputies, without fail, made an arrest in each and every one of them. One person got away from us, and we were able to apprehend him the next day. And mm -hmm. the only way we could get him to the detention center was flying with the helicopter, <laughs> and we give him a, a, a first-class flight ride. <laughs> to, the, to the detention center. But um, our folks, they were able to adapt to things that mm -hmm. we had not anticipated before or had never seen before and work flawlessly. I am so proud of the group of men and women that I work with and mm -hmm. the other first responders. It's not just the sheriff's office. Right. We work hand-in-hand um, -hand with emergency management and the EMS and the fire departments and all of the first responder community, the different uh, departments within the county government coming together to make sure we work as a team. And I think that um, was... It, we demonstrated our commitment mm -hmm. to, to taking care of this county and being right. able to work together to accomplish that mission. And I'm so proud of all of the efforts made by the men and women. And I saw folks in our agency that lost everything, yeah. lost their entire homes, and they never stopped working. That's, that's, that's what the, I, yeah. I, think, I think are the heroes. They never stopped working. Mm -hmm. They continued serving and protecting without regard for what uh, they were going through right, personally their own situations. to make right. sure that the citizens of this county were taken care of, and I'm so proud of them. And and rightfully so. I've heard some of those stories, and um, it just brings tears to my eyes how they lost everything, but they were out there on the front lines working and letting their family and everybody else had to deal with it, but yeah. um, they did their job. They did. You know, they did their job. And we're, we're blessed to have a group of men and women like that serving our community. We are. Not only in the sheriff's office, but all of our first responder community. And our, if you think about it, our, our um, various county departments, water department, they, oh, I know. they're still faced they're with still a lot of challenges. They're still out there working, yeah. And we just have such a, a good group. And I, I have such confidence in our county manager, Ann Hardy. She does a she fantastic does. job. Mm -hmm. She has to be one of the most dedicated professionals mm -hmm. I've ever seen. Yeah. And uh, our county commissioners working hand in hand to make sure that all of the efforts were supported. So I'm, I'm very thankful for that. Yeah, we are too, we are too. Well, I can't thank you enough for being here today. It's been a pleasure to have you. I love talking with you and I, I I want you to come back because you have such great stories, so I, I really want you to come back sometime. Yes, ma'am. Um, but I wish you the best. I hope you're recuperating well and uh, that you'll be fine and I hope for no more hurricanes this year. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. No more storms. No more storms. Yes, ma'am. Well, thank you so much, and please come back and visit. Thank you. You're welcome. It begins with a click. And no matter where you are, you have countless choices at your fingertips. On the road, on your break, even in your own backyard. A world of entertainment is just a click away. Simply go to atmc.com slash atmc to go to get started. Because at ATMC, it's all about you. ATMC Security is changing the way you connect with your home. 
making it safer, smarter, and more efficient. Now you can manage your home wherever you are with a single app. Lights, locks, thermostats, 24-hour security monitoring, and more, which means you always come back to a safe, comfortable home. Monitoring services start as low as $17.95 per month. Make your home a smart home with ATMC Security. Now, let's welcome Mike Crabb of Novant Health Sleep Center. Mike, thank you so much for being our guest today. I'm so excited to learn about the new service at Novant Health. And um, so let's start by uh, telling our viewers a little bit about yourself, like who you are and what you do and about your education. Okay, well, my name is Mike Crabb. I'm a licensed respiratory care practitioner. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been with Novant for 23 years and I'm the systems manager for sleep services. My primary background in healthcare is on the acute care side. Mm -hmm. uh, from Does that mean you worked in the hospital? Worked in the hospital as a respiratory therapist and managed cardiopulmonary, cardiovascular, neurosciences, and then kind of grew into sleep. And then in 2016, I took over responsibility for operations for sleep services corporate-wide. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So that's why we're here today. Um, we w we're going to talk about the new sleep center that's opened at the hospital. And I understand that you were very instrumental in opening mm -hmm. that new center um, at the hospital. So let's talk a little bit about that. Uh, yes, we did. Uh, last night was actually our first night that we were able to see patients. Um, plans have been in the works for some time. Uh, Shelburne Stevens, the president there, has right. always had an interest in sleep and it's just been logistics, getting things worked right. out. And as the environment has changed and the need has grown, um, we've decided to go ahead and move along with Now's what we have. Now's the time, huh? And uh, we implemented two beds there in the hospital. That's one of my questions. Mm -hmm. So it's right in the hospital? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. It's on uh, the second floor. Mm -hmm. And what this does, being hospital-based, gives us the ability to handle a higher acuity patient. Mm -hmm. This gives us the ability now with payers and their requirements for in-lab studies for the patients that are coming in with comorbidities. I see. Uh, congestive heart failure, um, unregulated or, un or treated, but... Um, not unstable, uh -huh. uh, diabetes, uh, mm -hmm. hypertension, um, COPD, mm -hmm. stages three and four COPD. We can offer those kind of services mm -hmm. as well as neurological disorders where patients may need requirements with oh. lifts or other type of aid. We can provide all of that in a hospital environment right. to where in a standalone facility you can't do that. And certainly as opposed to a home study. You couldn't provide. Oh no, no. The home study would be that that patient would pre pretty much mm -hmm. that would not be the appropriate modality for mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. So um, there are more than it's just more than snoring. There are mm -hmm. other uh, conditions that would be treated or studied here in the hospital. Is yes, that correct. Uh, we are a fully accredited full spectrum sleep disorder center. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, the most common thing that we will see is obstructive sleep apnea, mm -hmm. which is typically where you get the people snoring. Um, a lot of our patients come in, you either fix him or he's staying on the couch forever <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah. That is by far the That's most in common. That's my house. Yeah. <laughs> we, we see that that is a, a large number um, of the patients we see. But then it also comes with patients and what they're seeing more and more. Uh, your patient that comes in, they're chronically fatigued, chronic headaches. Oh, yeah. um, like we said, uh, weight loss, and you can't, you're doing everything you can, but you just can't, you know, it shouldn't, really? things aren't responding in ways, where your metabolism cannot function if you're sleep deprived. In the presence huh. of sleep apnea, whether it be central or obstructive, uh, your metabolism can't regulate, your oxygen levels can't regulate, uh, you're not resting, there's no restorative time at all. I see. So you're just tearing down, tearing down, tearing down, mm -hmm. and your body goes into conservation mode. So <laughs> you're going to store fat because mm -hmm. your body's in a constant state of stress. Mm -hmm. Now we can tolerate that for a long time, yeah. but as we get older, things start to catch up with us. Mm -hmm. And that's when you start to see, or you're at the doctor and you're on your third blood pressure medication. Yeah. Well, you need to think now, okay, then sleep. You're not going to regulate mm -hmm. your blood pressure. You're not going to regulate your... Uh, A1Cs and blood sugars right. if you're not sleeping. Does it require a physician referral? It does require a physician order. 
Okay. Now order. that's going to be all according the pathway the order's coming from, your insurance and things like that. It is. It does require a physician's order. Some payers, um, this is where I would recommend everyone check with their own payer right. up front. It may require a referral from your primary care right. to the specialist, or it may be if it doesn't require that referral to the specialist, your primary care doctor can just order the study and have mm -hmm. a specialist right. follow. follow. Mm -hmm. um, or if your primary care physician is comfortable, mm -hmm. then yeah. they can order the study and mm -hmm. review the results. So I themselves. guess you would talk to your primary care about your situation, whatever yes. it might be, and then they could probably just refer you to um, for the sleep study. Um, Talk to me a few minutes about the patient's experience during the sleep study. How okay. does, what, what happens? It's painless, okay. no needles. Uh, you are hooked up to a lot of different electrodes. Mm -hmm. You're looking at full EEG, the impact it is having with your brain as far as sleep itself. You're looking at limb movement like we just discussed, so you have things hooked up to the muscles, your arms and legs. Mm -hmm. We're looking at respiratory effort and your heart. All these things are impacted and tied together. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have quite a bit of equipment hooked equipment. to you, mm -hmm. but it's not, you're aware, it doesn't hurt, it's not uncomfortable. Yes. A lot of people say, well, I will never sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, that's very, very uncommon. Mm -hmm. People, you will go to sleep. Right. And the good thing about it is, even if you don't sleep six or seven hours, your sleep patterns and those things, they're going to occur. When you do go to sleep, you go through your cycles of sleep, your condition is going to show itself. Mm-hmm. Well, I think that's really exciting, and I'm really glad to uh, to know that we now have this service here in Brunswick County, um, and uh, we want to thank you for helping us uh, get that service. So before we wrap up, is there anything else that you would like to add? Just for people to make sure that they consider sleep when they speak to their provider. Mm -hmm. um, we all need to be partners with our health care providers in our care right? and to bring those things up. You know, if you're having trouble sleeping, and also a thing that I'm always very um, pretty passionate about if, if you're having trouble sleeping and just the assumption I will take something to help me sleep yeah people with untreated sleep apnea the only reason they wake up is their ability to arouse themselves if you take something that suppresses that ability you're yeah. really putting yourself at danger mm -hmm. so you really need to discuss anything like that with your healthcare provider. Great. Well, thank you so much for bringing all this information to us and enlightening us about sleep. Mm -hmm. And um, I look forward to hearing more after it's been up and running for a while. Well, thank you for having me. You're quite welcome. How much bandwidth will satisfy your home's hunger? The average household now uses seven wireless devices a day, including TVs, laptops, tablets, and smartphones. HD streaming and gaming can use large amounts of data and slow down speeds for other users. The more devices you use, the more bandwidth your home needs. So make sure you have enough bandwidth. Get speeds up to one gig with high-speed internet from ATMC. It's a speed you need to power all your devices. Call today. At ATMC, it's all about you. So when you build your own bundle at ATMC.com, you get exactly the services you want, like blazing fast internet with speeds up to one gigabit per second, more than 200 channels of digital cable, unlimited nationwide calling, plus the safest home on the block. At ATMC, you get faster speeds, more choices, and bigger savings, because it's all about you. Build your bundle today with ATMC. Next, let's meet Dr. Andy Smith of Novon Health Surgical Associates. Well, welcome back to the show, Dr. Smith. What a pleasure. Thank you, June. It's great to be here. It is. It's great to have you. Um, so there may be some viewers out there who missed uh, you the last time you were on the show. Sure. So tell me a little bit about your background and your education. Sure. Uh, briefly, um, you know, I grew up in Tennessee. I went to the University of Tennessee uh, for medical school. Yes. Um, and then I did my surgical training in Wilmington, uh, actually just up the road. That's right. That's You're right. local. That's right. Yeah. And I've, <laughs> and I've been down here since August uh, of 2017, so almost a year now. And yeah. um, settling in and getting busy quickly. It's been good. <laughs> it's been great to have you here. So uh, tell me a little bit about your practice. It's Novantel Surgical Associates. That's right. Um, there's five of us. Mm -hmm. uh, I have four other partners. Um, we have four locations. We are 
um, at, of course, at the hospital uh, in Bolivia on right. Highway 17, in right. Leland, in Southport, and also uh, down in the Carolina Shores area. So you're kind of spread out through the county. That's right. Makes it really convenient for all of our viewers. It's a big county, so we have to be. <laughs> Boy, isn't that the truth? Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of mileage. Um, well, today we're hoping to learn more about the, the new vein procedures that um, you're performing at Novant Health Surgical Associates. So tell me about the kinds of procedures that you offer. Sure. Um, the, the big one that we talk about primarily is, is what's called radiofrequency ablation. Okay. And if you, if you look at veins in general, you have a deep system and a superficial system. The deep okay. system is within the muscles. Um, it, it carries the majority of the blood out of the leg uh, and back to the heart. Uh -huh. And it's one that we don't like to touch. It's, it's very sacred. We stay away from the deep venous system. Uh, okay. The superficial venous system is the one that we're interested in with this procedure. It's typically the part of the vein system that causes problems with pain and varicose veins, leg swelling, non-healing oh. venous ulcers in the legs, and, and things of that sort. So you you can see most of the the veins that we're talking about, right? Sometimes, that's right. Yeah, it, it, every patient's a little different, uh -huh. so I try not to you know pigeonhole oh, okay. certain things. But sure. But um, what what we tell folks is if you have you know some of the following symptoms or a combination: um, pain in your legs, restless legs at night, cramping, oh. swelling, varicose veins. Those are the real the big four uh -huh. that are signs and symptoms of a potential problem with the superficial venous system. Okay. And this procedure, the ablation, can you explain that to me a little bit about what that entails? I can. Um, to give you a little better understanding, the vein's job is to bring blood back from the legs to the heart. Right. So it's working against gravity. Okay. okay. And when the v blood flow is trying to get back up the leg against gravity, we need some help. So we have these one-way valves that are in our veins and they okay. let blood go up but not pool back, back down. down. Correct. So over time, those valves can malfunction or deteriorate, and they become what we call, the word is incompetent. Okay. okay. So an incompetent, incompetent valve. Incompetent veins. Right. And that, is, that, that description is called venous reflux. Oh. And so when people have venous reflux, the pressure increases in the legs as the blood pools in the legs, and it puts outward pressure on those superficial veins. And the branches off of some of these superficial veins can dilate up, mm -hmm. and those are what varicose veins come from. Okay. Those are obviously problematic for a lot of people. Yes. And so what we do is we go in with a catheter in our office, done done as an office-based procedure. Okay, don't have to go to the hospital. Don't have to go to your office. Correct. Okay. Um, we go in with a catheter and we put the catheter within one of these big veins called the, usually it's the saphenous vein. There's another vein sometimes that we treat and we'll actually heat the vein up with radio frequency. Oh. And the idea there is to warm the vein to the point that it, it scars down and closes off. So we want to shut oh. that vein down and redistribute the blood flow into healthier veins that do have competent valves so that you don't have that pooling. So when you shut that, that one down, the blood finds its way into other veins and... Exactly. Remember we talked about that other deeper system. You've got that deep mm -hmm. system to back you up. So, right. the valve, so the, when we shut the superficial veins down, we shun it back into the deep system. The body's amazing, isn't it? It How is. How it can just sort of figure out a new route. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> And so, um, how about those little veins, like I call them spider veins? Sure. Do we do anything with those, or is that? We can. Um, sometimes those will actually get better with uh -huh. the procedure that I, that I discussed. Uh -huh. um, not everybody's a candidate for that procedure. Mm -hmm. We need to do a little workup, including an ultrasound and, and right. a couple other things to make sure that we're doing the right procedure for you, but mm -hmm. um, with mostly the, they're just ugly. Right, with the spider <laughs> veins, um, there are some cosmetic options for those. Unfortunately, insurances don't always cover sure. some of those, but yeah. it is certainly uh, we can discuss those things and, and what those options are. Sometimes it involves injections and things like that, sclerotherapy that can help uh -huh. get rid of some of those. Do they ever hurt? Do spider veins hurt? They can. They oh, can. Really? Yeah, it, and it kind of just depends. Every patient's different, as mm -hmm. I said, sure. so it may depend on what the cause of those spider veins is. Uh huh. So what's the most common uh, complaint, vein complaint coming into your office? What do you see most of? Mostly swelling and pain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Most people um, have a lot of swelling or, or pain in their legs. If you look at venous disease, um, it, it actually is about 10 times more common than arterial disease. We always think of problems with the arteries. Um, the problem with vein disease is it's a lot of times unrecognized. With mm -hmm. arterial problems, you have yeah. heart attacks, you yeah. lose legs, things like that. Mm -hmm. With veins, uh, it's, it's not a life-threatening issue most of the time. Mm -hmm. And so uh, people kind of suffer in silence with this. Mm -hmm. 
Well, let's talk about recovery. Is there a recovery period? Do you shut down for a while, or wh what do we great, do? Great, great question. Um, if we're talking about the ablation procedure, mm -hmm. like I said, it's an office yeah, brace procedure. It takes me anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour to do the procedure in the office. Um, what we do is you, we have you put a compression stocking on or, or we wrap your leg with a compression wrap mm -hmm. and you'll wear that for a few days but you're up on your feet and back to normal activity the next day. Really? So you can drive and everything the next day? Absolutely. Well that's great. Um, how about the results? Are patients generally happy with the results? And mm -hmm. um, Every patient's different. different. Sure. I know. Some results are Perfect. Some results are pretty good. Um, yeah. I haven't seen a patient yet that hasn't had Said some improvement. Said I wish I had them back. <laughs> sure. Right. So I think I think you, you'll find most people have a significant improvement in their in their lifestyle and mm -hmm. what they can do and, and in how they feel after mm -hmm. this procedure. Mm -hmm. Well, it was great having you on the show today. Um, I'm really excited about that new procedure. We want to get that word out there um, uh, about the new vein procedures. Wonderful, so, wonderful. Well, and uh, they can just call the office and make an appointment? They can call the office. Like I said, it's, it's not for everybody. A lot of times we have, to, we have to do a couple things to see if you're a good candidate for right. it. Um, but you know, we're always a phone call away and my nurses are very knowledgeable about this right. and so a lot of times there may be some questions we can even answer for you over the phone to determine if you need to come in and see us. Great. Well, thanks again for being here. It was a pleasure to have you. You're very welcome. Great to be here. Thanks. Thank you for tuning in to ATMC TV's Health Watch. I hope this information was beneficial for you and your family. If you have any questions or topics that you would like to see discussed on a future show, please email them to atmctv at atmc.com. Visit NovantHealth.org for more information on Novant Health Brunswick Medical Center, local doctors, and general health information. Thank you again for joining us today. Be sure to join us next time for Health Watch on ATMC TV. Well, it's a weekend backpack program, and um, we have had for several years at least um, donations from Matthew Ministries, and they provide a bag of food, which is usually comprised of pasta, some sauce, um, granola bar, etc. But what we have added with the help of the ATMC grant are more food items to help children get through the weekend if they don't have adults available to prepare meals for them or to provide them with snacks. Well, actually, it was AJ, who's the parent facilitator here at Belleville Elementary, who said, you know, I'd love to be able to add some foods to the Matthew Ministry donations, for which we are very grateful, um, that the children can prepare themselves without the aid of a parent. It's great. Um, a lot of people wouldn't know that they can help this way and it's something simple. You know, in the grocery store there's something you pick up and it's been great that the volunteer um, can provide, you know, this assistance to the school to get the food and we're able to put it in the backpacks and send home. So ATMC provided the funds that we needed in order for us to, to buy the food to put in the backpacks that the school most definitely could not afford or be able to do this and the parents of course cannot afford it. But the community and ATMC helping us with this has been outstanding. Whether your business is buttoned up or buttoned down, you're in the communications business. Inspiring, advising, engaging. That's where we come in. We're in the delivery business. Like that? No, like this. We're the high-tech Autobahn. Combined with voice as crystal clear as, well, you get it. Need voice and data? Let's do some business. Get up to one gig business class broadband internet from ATMC Business Solutions. The fastest, most reliable connection available. Add business phone and save even more. Call ATMC today. This is what security video used to look like. And this is HD video monitoring from ATMC Security. Now it's easier than ever to keep tabs on the kids, see when deliveries arrive, and make sure your home is secure. Check in from any device, anywhere. ATMC Security offers remote access, real-time alerts, video monitoring, and recording, and more. Combine smart home solutions with 24-7 emergency monitoring for one great low price. ATMC Security. Safeguard your home.